All right, this is a fresh install of Kodi. You can get this anywhere. You can download it for your PC, any Android device, box, Fire Stick, tablet, phones. Um, K-O-D-I is the program you want to install. Now, everyone uh, has Kodi, but not everyone has a build for Kodi, and I'll show you how to get that today. It's going to be quick and easy, so pay attention and pause where you need to. All right, so we're going to go to System. We're going to go to File Manager. Add Source. And you're going to click the box that says None. Uh, the website I'm giving you today is http colon backslash backslash arieswizard.co.uk. I especially like this one because it gives you multiple builds to choose from in one download. All right, so I'm going to hit done. I'm going to go down to where it says enter a name for this media source, and we're going to name it dot Aries. Done. You'll see it here. Hit OK. All right, so it adds the file here, and we're going to back out to our main menu, and we're going to settings. We're going to go to add-ons. And this is the first run, so you're just going to hit OK. And you're going to see install from zip file. And we're going to find our file here, .aries. And you'll see the script, and uh, this is the zip file right here. You want to click on that. Give it time to enable. And you'll see it pop up right here, so that lets you know it's ready to go. Then you want to back out to your main screen. And we're going to go to Programs. And you'll see the Aries Wizard here. You want to click on it, and it's going to need to update. You'll see it working, checking for updates. And it's going to update itself first. All right. So once that is done, you want to click it again to actually get into it. You'll see it working. And you'll see this open up. So now you're in the Aries Wizard. The wonderful thing about this, you can do so much. You can uh, find builds, add-ons. It does maintenance, backup, everything all in this one download. So I really love this. Um, so we're going to go to Browse Builds. As you can see, they have a number of builds. Um, one thing that I would look for in choosing a build is that this statement here, can Aries check for build update? Yes. That is very helpful uh, when programs start to go down and malfunctioning and um, just disappearing. Uh, you always want to be able to update that build. All right, so my personal favorite is Pulse. And you're going to get to this screen here and you want to type in this address. You may want to pause the video, uh, type it into your phone, your computer, your tablet, wherever. Um, once you put that address in, it's going to give you a PIN number. Once you get that PIN number, you hit enter PIN. My number is 6292, and you can only use it once, so don't try to use mine. It's not going to work. All right, once that's done, you want to hit enter there, and it's going to give you access uh, to Pulse. Also, you can go back to the other builds as well and just browse those with that same PIN number. So if you're not happy with Pulse, you can try something else. All right, uh, for the sake of this video, we're going to use Pulse Lite. Um, one of the easier ones I found, if you're a beginner or just not very tech savvy, Sky Plus, it's a very simple layout. There's search, there's a TV guide, movies, TV, family shows, concerts, and an on-off switch. You really don't have to leave this screen other than to go to what you're looking for. Um, which I think is helpful for grandma or anyone who's not tech savvy. All right, so we're going to do Pulse Lite. Make sure that's selected, and then we're going to um, go over to Install once we select it. And it's going to take a little while to download, so what we're going to do is fast forward through this video. 
The next thing it's going to do is extract those files that it just downloaded and that'll take a minute. Okay, so once that finishes uh, downloading and installing, you'll get this message, do you want to back up? My suggestion is to choose yes. You want to back up the file in case there's any issues. You can always come back into Aries to repair it um, from its original state. Um, in my case, I'm just going to hit no. All right, you'll get a message that say, says uh, Cody needs to close. Press OK. All right, that's going to close it out. And all you need to do is go back into Cody. And there you have it. Pulse. All right. And um, once you install these, uh, give it a minute. It needs to update different programs. You don't want to be clicking and, and trying to go through and start stuff while it's trying to update itself. Um, so there's some updates that are going to happen. Give it about five minutes. Let it run and do its thing. Um, sometimes you will be prompted to restart it because of the uh, updates. And it's good to go. Uh, you could use it. This one looks like actually an easy layout as well. So you may want to test this out. One thing you want to be cautious of if you already had a build on Kodi, do a fresh start before trying these steps because you're going to run into problems with glitches if you don't. Um, just to avoid it, just just fresh start all the time, just to be on the safe side. All right, so I hope this tutorial helps, and if you have any questions, hit me up. I'll try to make a video for you. Thanks.